Hello, everybody. Welcome back to game. God, yeah, there we go. Game three of the Captain's Draft 4.0 minor. We have techies again. Will we see it? Guess who else? Spirit Breaker. Is he there? Oh my. Okay. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna send a bug report to Valve. Tell them every game. That's Spirit, Spirit, Breaker. Spirit Breaker is in every game. <laughs> All right. What do we? What do we got here? Got a Night Stalker for the first time, Sardar for the first time, Wraith King, Wraith King as well. Cool guy. Uh, are there actually any good mono burn heroes? And there's like OD, Nyx, Nyx. Assassin. Is that it? I think Maybe so. This, this is Wraith King's moment. All right. Premium position four is probably going to get bans. I would be surprised if it was first pick. So Midas Club has first pick. I would be surprised if Lucini did not ban Spirit Breaker this game. And Necro. Mm. Yeah, I think yeah. Spirit Breaker oh, and Necro are pretty standard here. I think if you want the Necro, then you might have to ban the AA. I mean, it's not a hard counter, but it is pretty annoying to play against. The support pool is actually garbage. Yeah, it's pretty bad. We got Skywrath yeah, really Oracle. Bad. Oracle is horrendous. Skywrath Oracle <laughs> AA. That's like yeah, it. That's pretty bad. Looks like we got a green. Well, IO, I guess, is the big one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wisp is, Wisp is also good. But this is a very shallow support team, that's for sure. Five seconds remaining. We saw Ricky earlier today. We have yet to see Luna. She's been available to pick a couple times now. TA's gotten a couple games played. It's been pretty successful. Luna Wisp is a is a strat. That's an old alliance yeah. strat. Any empowered heroes with Magnus? Mm, um Lifestealer, Wraith King, Tiny. It's not bad. Yeah, it's pretty good. Even TA is not ter like totally terrible with it. I mean, it doesn't doesn't get to use the cleave, of course. But the real question is, who's picking techies? Hmm. Who's picking Naga? Ugh. Why would you want to know that? I don't want. I I want to know because I want the answer to be neither team, and then <laughs> this game will be over, and then I could have a nap. That'd be. <laughs> Um, well, Death Prophet's also there, so pretty good is, heroes. Is it even a good Naga game? There isn't actually that much wave clear in this in this pool. There's like a there's like a Marana, kind of a TA, but I think Naga is actually pretty decent against TA. Now TA's gone. Yep. The Spirit Breaker did get banned. Ricky also banned. So maybe it's actually the position. Position four, there's still Nyx Assassin, but what else? Maybe we see a four Slardar or a four uh, Wraith King yeah, maybe. this game. I think there's also some good vehicles for Lifestealer. He talked about the Slardar Nyx. Not yep. too shabby. Magnus to some degree. Weaver. What kind of Phoenix combos do we have? It's Naga Phoenix, I guess. It's, not, it's okay. I don't know how great that is. All right, there we have All the right, one support the available to them. <laughs> yep. I Lucini I would be shocked if take... I, I think Necro is the best IO duo in other than Tiny, I guess, available to them. Yeah. No, I I, I think you take you probably take Nick's Necro, take the Nick's away, so they can't use yeah, it against you. Yeah, that's pretty strong. Pretty strong yeah. couple of picks there. I mean, those are two. Uh, if I showed you just those two heroes. I wouldn't blame you for thinking that this is just the captain's mode opener. Just wait, though. That techies is going to come out, and then you'll know. Mm. Five seconds remaining. Yeah, I really wonder what how Midas Club are going to round out their supports. What if what if they do the old school uh, Wisp Skyrath dual roam, both just running around, that would running be pretty around, annoying. throwing. Yeah. Uh, can you get away with AA IO on the same team? Uh, that doesn't not the feel best. great. Yeah. yeah. 
But you do counter Necro to some degree, like we talked yeah. about. Yeah, at least a little bit. The damage yeah, reduction go for is already okay. The, the problem here is, okay, I think both teams have kind of put themselves in a little bit of a deny pick mentality. Like, Midas Club don't want to give Lucini the AA because it's actually, one, Lucini still need to position five. And it's pretty good with the Nyx Assassin. Like, Nyx Assassin stun is good enough to set up a, a cold feat. Or something useful and AA is actually really good with Necrophos the just being able to drop a vortex on somebody mm, who's true psyched, yeah like yeah pretty scary true. it also prevents uh, Lucini from picking up death profit you would think potentially Ooh, yeah oh I like yeah this. they needed a way to set up for the the cold feet so I think Wraith King fits the bill pretty nicely they are picking it into Nyx assassin but what are you gonna do don't think the mana burn yeah. from him is that great anyway. It's int based. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's int based. So, Wraith King. But if you really do get a hero with a defusal, then you're running into issues. And there's one. Like this Marana hero. Yes. Okay. I think what rounds out Midas Club's lineup right now is Techies. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, I think it's a perfect pick. <laughs> I think it's just. Actually, the... looks awful. <laughs> Hey, Ice Vortex <laughs> into the Suicide Squad, or whatever that's called uh, now. Lift off or whatever. Blast off, I think. <laughs> yeah, great. Blast off. I don't even know the names for this freaking skills. That's fine. It's not in, not in Captain's mode. It's not a real hero. <laughs> um, hmm. I wonder if Lucini will just Drow Strat. This yeah, they could. You know, they, they could. could they could get away with an Oracle, actually. Oracle Necro is pretty strong. Yeah, that's true. It is a good, pretty good combo. The disarm is really annoying for Wraith King as well. And Oracle's not too bad against AA either. Just being able to ult somebody yeah. right as they would tick out to shatter. And then you can actually still, the heal still picks up or it still counts up. So, so like so long as the Ice Blast is run out by the time the ulti ends, it's pretty easy. It kind of goes back and forth, right? Until the AA gets Ags. The Oracle is kind of a counter, and then he gets eggs. And yeah. Ults, I mean, and they Oracle still die, there. but that's nine seconds that they're not dead at least, right? Yeah. If you think of it that way, too. So it's, it does go both ways. Um, okay. Well, I think Magnus, potentially for Midas Club, still looking okay. Yeah, I could see it. Oh, boy. Oh. You're, you called it. Is that a support or a carry? That's the question. Um, Probably support, actually, huh? Yeah, it might just be like an aggro tri-lane support kind of a thing. They just got like Naga Nix something plus plus whoever. Depends I mean, on how snare they into arrow is so pretty almost. freaking dirty too. Yeah, but also the Naga and the Nix both just have such good... They've got good base armor. They've got good base damage. They can pretty easily run at these Midas Club supports because they're really squishy. So I think if it, if it comes down to like a... Trilane versus Trilane. I think I favor Lucini slightly, but whether or not they go for a tri v tri completely depends on what kind of solo lanes uh, Midas Club can pick up. Maybe Midas Club take the Death Prophet. Okay, no. Weaver. Another AA synergy hero. Chilling Touch plus... I mean, uh, yeah, Midas Club could just go, could go draw themselves, potentially. Yeah. Yeah, they definitely could. Um... I think they maybe just take... I, I like the Magnus, but I worry about his lane matchup in this game. I don't even think the Weaver is that crazy of a 1v1 laner. All right. The Empowered Wraith King. The one and only. I would say they don't really have the best wave clear for illusion clears for Naga if it's a if it's a core. But I'm no, not I sure don't if it's really. going to be a core. I, I think if you're for a while. if you're Lucini, I think you try to go for it. You just put Murana on support or something. Mm. I don't know how they deal with these I'm, illusions. I mean, they can still the, the Necro Murana Naga could be their three cores, and then they just like Oracle for the support pick, or even they could even Skywrath if they wanted to for the support pick. Just like run around with Nyx Assassin, killing people, or net into what? Oh. What? <laughs> Does it support Marana? What? Imprison arrows? Yeah, I guess. 
I mean, that that's a pretty dirty combo, too. Definitely not what we're expecting, though. Huh. No. Interesting. God, they have, they have like, all magic damage, pretty much. Yeah, that's they true. They suck I mean, so bad against BKB. Yeah, they do. They do own Wraith King, though, right now. Diffusal, potentially a Maron. I mean, this is, like, depending on the position. But yeah. OD, you talked about that being a counter, and then Mana Burn to some degree as well. Hmm. All right. Who do you got here? Oh, man, that's... That's tough. Um, are they talking about who's what's going on with this Naga? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, I got my boy Wraith King. It's <laughs> <laughs> my boy. That, that's, who, that's who I got. He's, he's my boy. Look at that headpiece. Like How can I'll, you I'll even see Wraith out King. of that thing? I mean, I always cheer for Wraith King, so. And an empowered wish, Wraith King. I wish at he that. was still. Uh, I wish he was still Boner King. I know. Instead I know. Rest in peace, Boner King. Maybe his Arcana the, one day. I have the TI3 version of the hero roster poster on my wall. And so it's still got. It's got like Fat Storm and. <laughs> uh, and Boner King. I love Fat Storm. That was the best. And uh, who else? I think, it, I think it also has Fat Puck. Oh no, it has Skinny Puck. So Wasn't it, was, it Fat Faced Puck? Yeah, no, it's so just this, like a... this version has uh, has skinny puck. So there you go. Okay. Well, we are underway in this game three of the last game of today, last series of today, between Lucini and Midas Club Elite. Each respective team kind of dominating in their own way for games one mm -hmm. and two. So we'll see if this is a more even affair. You never know what you're gonna get with South American dotes. We have an early smoke here. Never know what you're going to get with Captain's Draft. That's, That's true. Captain it's a fun. double whammy, you know? So does that mean it becomes very predictable when it's South America and <laughs> Captain's Draft? Uh-oh. Oh. Wraith Fire Blast applied on top of a cold feet. OD is dead. You dead. 100% dead. 100%. 110% dead. There you go. Job. And Wraith King takes it for himself. My boy, Wraith King. <laughs> <laughs> My boy. <laughs> I hope yeah. he doesn't buy Irradiance this game. What? That's the best, I though. I don't think... Huh? It's the best. I don't think you need... Uh, it's. I think it's pretty good. As, I guess it's it's decent against the OD, but I think when you've got the Empower, you don't really need it for farm. I really oh. like the... Like the Armlet Deso Blink. That kind of... Are they actually going to go for this? Oh, the arrow! Oh. It hits! Deal the Impale out. is okay. ready. Take that rune, but kill him first. Oh, wait. Did he take it? Oh. Is he actually going to live? Oh my oh, god, he's actually no. going to live. Unreal. Yep. At least Sniper. the Jericho got the Sniper bounty. With the arrow. <laughs> yeah, that's feasible. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe he lived. They didn't, right. even, they didn't even steal his... But did they steal no, his they, they took the bounty, yeah. Oh, okay, they did. And they that's did. the thing, though. He Nyx took the bounty. I'm guessing he did it in between right clicks, but in theory... Yeah, I don't think he did it at the expense of... A, okay, like, that's what I'd, I'd have to look down. at. It. Yeah. Wait, what's happening oh, here? Arrow... Pretty much a melee arrow. Wraith King, your boy Wraith King's in a little bit of trouble with a Wraith Fire Blast on the Naga Siren. Looks like she's the one that's going to drop. Wraith King and company deal a lot of damage. Better be Wraith careful King. if you're Lucini. Your boy's continuing to aggress here. Wraith Fire Blast is available on top of the Cold Feet again. Marana, oh, a couple more right clicks will suffice, but the Wraith King dies first. Double kill for AA. All right, we got a new carry. Your boy's going to go to support AA. You're the one position now. Nice. He's not my boy anymore. He's just my man. <laughs> <laughs> my man. My man. This is interesting. We got a Weaver mid versus Necrophos, by the way. Very not odd. Uh, get, oh, top lane. Let's again. just never. <laughs> your boy. It's out of control right now. It's a one for one. Wraith Fire Blast onto Nyx now. Who has? He does have Spike Carapace. He's going to pop it there. And Naga Siren here for the Ensnare. That'll break things up for now. Wraith King now level two. He's made it. Started from the bottom. Yeah, this will okay, be an well, interesting this try lane. Seems to be going great. Yeah, I would say so. Mid lane not going so great for the Weaver. 
Necrophos doing Necrophos things in the 1v1, and uh, this is a really weird bottom lane. Magnus versus <laughs> OD. This is a pub game, dude. This is what this, <laughs> this is. is. This is some captain's draft right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. It's so good. Okay, we're going to leave that lane for now as Masha in the mid lane like we talked about. But it's this, it's this tri lane top that we're going to keep our eyes on for now. Scream at me if you see somebody's dying in another lane. Okay. Scream at me real good. Wait, which lane are you watching? You're watching top. Yeah, that's correct. Oh, the Wraith Fire, but was that on a okay. creep? That was on a creep, and now they're going to set this up within the stair into an impale. Jericho, he's cold feeted up. I know. I know. And this this chilling touch is actually insane. Ugh. Pretty dirty. It means well, Io's right clicks canc actually do something. They canceled the south. We're on his sad. The Wraith King know, has so many stuns because of the bottle and the... Yeah, it's... It's his wet dream right now. This is insane. Marana takes the Wraith Fire Blast to the face. A couple more right clicks will suffice. Attempting to run away, but the right clicks are enough as Io. A little bit of trouble here. A triple impale from Jericho. The Ravage this early. Gracious me, oh my. But it doesn't matter because Midas Club is just shrizzling it up here in the top lane. All right. I was I was totally wrong about this tri-lane versus tri-lane. The, the Wisp is <laughs> just a god of tri-lane versus tri-lane. It, this it, is like it's... what the f like WTF mode, just infinite yeah. mana for this freaking wraith fire blast. Oh, okay, oh. maybe he's. Oh, they he, layer, he does have to. Oh, the oh. spike carapace, beautifully done. Wait, did Wisp hit him? I or, guess it must have been a uh, projectile on the been. air. Yeah. Yeah. That, that was weird. That's why you have auto attack off. Yeah. Now you live and learn. You know, yeah. it's okay because your boy. He's doing quite well for himself and oh my god, look at that regen. Holy Chop. Jesus. The fountain Chop. is OP. Naga Siren takes the Ray Fire Blast and Snare connects on Io. There's the arrow set up. It's a 3v2 right now. Here comes a chilling way. touch. Io's in a lot of trouble, but so is the Naga Siren. Looks like there might be a lot of trades. It's a two for one in Double favor of kill. Midas Club Elite. HFN. He got stick no charges. Io, but the stick is there. Ray Fire Blast again onto the cold feet. Jericho looks to be dead. How much Triple damage kill? has this Ancient Apparition done? Triple kill for HFN. He's 5, 1, and 4. Four minutes in. <laughs> he has 5 kills and only 15 CS. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not often you see that. All right. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, we have a very, very passive... <laughs> 33 and 15 for Necro. 15 yep. and 4 for Weaver. So kind of dumpster mode right now. So that's one good thing for Lucini. Necro doing his his 1v1 business. Oh, is he gonna kill this wisp? No, okay. King RD has the does have the raindrops. Oh, we Maybe have too soon. in snare here. Io Necro ult's not gonna be enough to take him out, but the right clicks might be one more. And finally, he will drop to the deck. So they do get that pesky support Io, who's trying to come to mid lane to salvage this, but. How much does it matter? Like, how big of a deal is a tri lane dumpstering this hard mean compared to, to like, does, how much does it matter that your other lanes are losing potentially? Um, I. Oh, right, fire blast. Oh, oh, the fog. No Chase. fog now. There you go. All right, nice and pale onto two. Lucini. They get up a nice arrow here on the Punch Marana, it. but I feel like she's dead one way or the other. King RD really tanking up these creeps nicely. That's a three, four, I mean, and seven lanes, IO. <laughs> the lanes are the other lanes are losing, but not not to the ridiculous extent that they're crushing the top lane. Right? So yeah. Wraith Fire Blast. <laughs> get him again. <laughs> get him. Oh my God! The Ice Vortex is scouting this out as well, Marana. Oh my God, dude! This poor, this poor, poor woman. And the Wraith. <laughs> it's so much mad. He's Wraith firing freaking creeps, dude. This is this is flashback. To that Ursa game, it's like yeah, Ursa that's true. just man moding, and now it's now it's Wraith King. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. And yeah, this looks to be a dead tier one, and this tri lane has just they've lost this tri lane. That's an understatement. Oh, yeah, Un unequivocally. Um, but uh, okay, so what's going on? The Nyx has some levels. Oh, do you get nope? Ooh, very close. 
Did they RP him? They did. He imprisoned the Weaver and made his escape. Yeah, and the supports for Lucini right now. I'm going to look at the levels real quick. Hopefully that's the right key. Yeah, they are. Oh, my goodness. Level two level threes. Oh, now they, they just leveled up. So still pretty. They're struggling pretty hard. Yeah, I think this. Uh, so where things really get interesting now is that the tri lanes have broken up. It really comes down to do the like does the Midas Elite tri lane keep the momentum going and they will will they be able to go and help out the other lanes or uh, are the cores from Lucini going to be the ones rotating and making kills happen? I think rune control is going to be really important for the next couple of minutes because like an invis necrophos or something could go and find and uh, kill off the wraith king potentially yeah, or true. you know find another pick off and they just they just keep farming up. Wraith King pretty close to level 6. Not sure if he's going to put a point in his ulti or not. Probably will just hold on to it just in case. Uh, and the question is, what item build is he going for? I assume this is going to be an armlet and not a Midas, but uh, you never know. It could be a Midas, I, I guess. I mean, it's in the team name. True. That is true. We'll see. I think he's still maybe hasn't 100% decided. I am I would like to see the armlet this game. I want him to just kind of... Yeah, I mean, you, you, can buy you do have Empower, items. right? So you, you can yeah. farm pretty efficiently. The, I mean, the argument for the Midas is that it gets you to your 18 and 25 that much faster. It's like the only item you can buy. To oh, get boy. Those Naga attempting to TP out. Will not find her way home. Will do so That's in a body clutch. bag, in fact. The right click and then immediately into the Shikuchi again. Very nice. Yeah, I mean, the one caveat of the downside of chilling touch is it lowers the attack speed but when you have a weaver pretty dirty yeah that gemini attack is so good so this position for or whatever naga is doing nothing at the moment <laughs> which is that's boring it's pretty harsh bro yeah i mean what's what's he done <laughs> nothing <laughs> nothing <laughs> fat load of nothing <laughs> How's, does the Marana, okay, the Marana's been able to hit some creeps. Since they lost that tier one up top, it's actually created a bit of breathing room for Marana. She is going for the Soul Ring. Oh, bot lane. I can't believe AA actually has his ult at this point. Madara very low. Looks like he'll fall one way or the other. Wraith Fire Blast finishing him off. Necro uses the ult on ap Apparition here. Not going to be enough. Is the Death Pulse? Yes. yes. With a little bit of tick of the Heartstopper aura as well. Meanwhile, mid lane, this level four Naga. She, she hasn't done nothing. She's been dying a bit. 0 and 4. And Get that him. should finish him off. Unless there was some crazy ass miss action there. Yeah, you're right. Marana's definitely been hitting creeps. Yep. Marana catching back up. Everybody, all the cores kind of settling back into having a decent amount of farm. So this, this game could get. Oh, oh, Jericho. Could get really interesting. Oh. oh. He gets a double impale, but won't be enough to finish anybody off. Right, Masha and company attempting to chase him down. He's only level four, does have a spike carapace. Still might be a tough kill, especially when the high ground is here. Jericho, see the AA blast coming. It's going to connect on three heroes. Weaver in a lot of trouble, though. The time lapse is there. Keeps him healthy. Necro wants to aggress, but thinking better of it. No Reaper Scythe for another 30 seconds. And it was a Midas, by the way, for the Wraith King. Yeah. I think it's fine. Yeah. I think never the, have a problem with Midas. Uh, yeah. Looks like he's maybe just going like a B. I, I don't know if I want to say standard build, but looks like maybe Midas, Blade Mail, Radiance. Yeah, definitely a Radiance game of, if you go Blade Mail, I think. That kind of line? Yeah, I think it, I think it definitely do they is. Do they need a blink on him, you think, this game? Um, I think it would be good, but... I think it's always nice to have a secondary initiator, especially since in a lot of cases, I don't think Mag is actually a primary initiator. Yeah, so I feel like he's kind of like a Sand King, right? Yeah, it's so much easier for Magnus to play if you have somebody else who goes in this guy's with Scythe mid. Oof, Weaver. Oh, time lapse was up in one second. That's rough. Madara? Just a drum on this OD. Oh. Yeah, interesting. He's going Midas as okay. well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you're you're exactly. I, I I talk about this a lot with Sand King. It's very similar with um, 
with Magnus. Obviously, Magnus is a great initiator if you can get it off, but it's not consistent. You kind of want to be that secondary initiator that you're talking about. OD, in the meantime, yeah. in a lot of trouble. AA Blast will connect. It's a <coughs> melee one. That's another kill going their way. King RD, very low. Actually, King RD takes that kill for himself. Somehow got the last hit, yeah, with the spirits. <laughs> Typical hits. IO. I feel like the Arcana gets more kills than a normal IO. Pay to win. Notice them way more with the little... Uh, yeah, the song and dance. Theme. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is a really, really good Weaver game, actually. Just starting to notice it now. Get Defusal for the Necro. You'll probably go for Lincolns anyway uh, mm -hmm. for that, that Scythe all around. And pretty good against Illusions. Not that Naga's really going to be spamming out Illusions that much as she is support. Yeah. The, the Nyx is kind of annoying. Like the True. Spiked Carapace on your Shikuchi or the fact that uh, his stun isn't blocked by Lincolns. But it is... It is, other than that, a very good Weaver game. And we're kind of seeing it. Masha is just playing like a crazy person, pressuring, <laughs> forcing TPs, making all the right moves. He, he knows that his hero is well positioned, and he's, mm -hmm. he's playing like it. And we have a smoke. And Necro, by the way, has a sacred relic, so mm -hmm. pretty damn early, actually. He just rushed that. Not all too right. shabby. Why not, Both bro? He sees of... the Midas on the opposing team. Like, let's just go Radiance, straight up. Brown yeah. Boots Radiance. This is like a Slacks build, minus the Radiance and just put a Dagon instead. Yeah. So even worse. I think also what the latest innovation on the Slacks build was no more boots. <laughs> just, just Dagon. Great. Love to see that stuff. <laughs> just terrific. A true innovator. Yeah, that's one way to look at it. <laughs> right, top lane, Masha. The Marana is here. We have a smoke, maybe? No, I think they're just going to wait for the Radiance and then perhaps... Well, they can they can reload in. They can reload on the, the Marana, actually. Oh, yeah. We're going to see that exact thing. We have the RPUs into a skewer, into the Wraith King's right click. Question is, will they go back? How does King RD getting this? all these kills? <laughs> yeah. What is happening? Damn that song. I was going to be shown here. Oh, Naga. Not in range for the ensnare, and, away and he goes. Yeah. He's in the middle of four heroes. <laughs> Just TP's out. I mean, look how much space nice. this is creating. This is crazy. Tier two tower is gonna fall now. They might lose the tier one in response, but maybe not actually. Could potentially TP back. No RP though, so might not want to fight this. Radiant will be online good? very shortly too. The strat, Shannon. You get the you get the eggs on the Wraith King later, so that Reaper Scythe doesn't do anything. It's actually amazing. So I had Wraith sick. King eggs pretty low on my list, but after playing against it, it's it's pretty disgusting actually. Uh, I forget what hero I was playing, but it hard counters. Who was it? It wasn't Necro. Um, somebody that relies on getting like a, a quick kill or something. Quick I can't kick. remember. Uh, but it definitely can be strong, like as a fifth or sixth item, I think, depending on the lineup. But you're right; it, it hard counters Necro, for sure. Yeah, I'm I'm really waiting to feel the impact of this Necro. I mean, the Radiance is just a big farming item, right? He's kind of aiming yeah. more for his like two, three, I guess like three, four slot as opposed to picking up early items like a Veil or anything like that and and running around. He might he might even still go back to the Veil given that he's got the Got the Radiance and already has two Null Talismans mm -hmm. picked up. Uh, and pretty good for his OD as well. Sandy's Eclipse damage. So pretty big incentive to pick it up. But yeah, I'm waiting to feel the impact. Maybe he'll get this kill on him. Oh boy, Weaver's in a lot of trouble. There's the Reaper Scythe, and it is enough, but he doesn't die in the Reaper Scythe, so he'll be up in 30 seconds. I just thought of the hero, by the way. Uh, Legion Commander. It? Hard counter. Ah. Hard counter. You literally cannot win a duel. It's pretty filthy. <laughs> As long as Wraith King is in vicinity. That's interesting because it, like killing a hero with Aegis or yeah. killing Wraith King, right. ca that's a dual win. Right? Yes, yes. But not if they turn into a ghost. Correct. Oh, a Wraith. It's I pretty guess. weird. Because you, you end up getting the kill if you kill them in duel. Um, but it's not during duel, so you don't get the damage. You see? Uh. So I think that's the difference. Uh, but Wraith King, as we're talking about him now, he has the Blade Mouse, uh, as we mentioned. Can buy the Blink Dagger now. Maybe just goes for the Radiance. 
Uh, no, he's making an, he's making an item spot. Looks like he's just gonna. Okay. I think he's less reliant on the blink this game because they do have the wisp as a form of mobility for him. But I mean, less reliant on the blink, so maybe he could have gone the radiance. But uh, I think the blink, like we were saying, it's just so good with the mag. He can just go tank in the fight. Ooh, Nick's scouting. Oh, moonlight shadow. Did they see Magnus use his shadow amulet here? I'm not sure. It's not his though. It's the wisp. Oh, that's true. Good old Wisp. Good clean here with a lot of farm. HFN, he's going to be surrounded. The Radiance is there as well. Pops the Blade Mail. Still has his reincarnation. A big RP onto three heroes. There's the song, though. AA Blast coming in. It's going to connect on two. Will this be enough to get any kills? The Song of Siren. Very clutch. They'll find the Marana. And meanwhile, we'll watch in the fountain. They will live. Huge Song of Siren counter initiation. And a great RP to start things off. All right. Yeah. Okay. Dude, so the, the Naga did skip. something. Yeah. Mark Naga did something. Naga. <laughs> <laughs> You've no longer done nothing this game. Congratulations, sir. <laughs> Rise, Naga. <laughs> you're you're know, a knight of the dire now. This is an interesting game that I would actually say Aghanim Scepter on Naga could be very good. Unless you get Ice Blasted. Oh yeah, I forget. never mind. Not great. I forget what I just said. That was really stupid. The only reason I was saying is because you have RP initiation. Yeah. And you just sit in the back and, and you're the fine. Heal is, yeah, yeah. that's real helpful. But you're right. AA blast, be... pretty pretty big deal. Oh, Jericho showing himself in the mid lane, trying to get to AA, but the Wraith Fire Blast will be there. AA blast on top of it. That is a dead Nyx assassin, but it will be a trade. One for one. HFN attempting to TP out. Reaper Scythe keeps him in place. It won't be enough for the kill, but he will die nonetheless. All right. Bot lane, Masha finds the Weaver. Doesn't have TP for another three seconds. Has used the leap. Of course, they don't know this. And Madar is here to help back him up. God, this Necker's build is greedy. He's got BOTs as the second item. Oh my goodness, are you serious? He's, he's aiming for the sixth slot this game, Shannon. All right. I that's, that's, that's what I, I. It's very ambitious. I like that. Yeah. Kind of. I mean, he's, he's got he's got the networks to back it up. He's he's walking the walk. That's true. He's going to go four staff. That's interesting. Considering how yeah, greedy really he's being. He just, <laughs> I'm really surprised that he doesn't just finish the the veil quickly. I well, at this like point, I don't think he's item. going veil anymore. Mm, yeah, maybe not. I guess he's got bigger bigger fish to fry. So I, before items. long, he's going to outlive that uh, the usefulness. Well, not the usefulness, but you know what I mean. The slots yeah, run out real quick. Yeah, slot efficiency. Yeah. Well, Jericho finds Tavo here. Moonlight Shadow on top. Do they see it? They've got the RP back up. They can reload the Wraith King in as well. But there are effectively five heroes from Midas up here on top lane. Double ward action. Great. Right in front of the Weaver. Arrow coming in. Oh, will not hit him. And a sidestep. And they immediately counter. That's unfortunate for them. Necropost in the mid lane. Stun from Wraith King. We'll tickle him. Reaper Scythe is available. Mag Shadow Blading through. Oh, yeah, you're right. Shadow Blade is up Can't and running. Can't initiate if you're the one RP'd. Oh, that could be a great RP. Onto two, into a skewer, ice into blast. the Ray Fire Blast. Oh. The Ice Blast is completely off the mark. A little bit of miscommunication. Song of Siren canceled out as he dies in the midst of things. Wraith Fire, or Wraith King, ends up taking a lot of damage here. Looks like the Magnus Looking was one. the first to fall. So one for two, and there's the counter initiation now. Onto the Nyx Assassin. Spike Carapace, not available to use. So it's a three for one. Not the greatest execution, but they do get the better of that fight. Don't worry, guys. Marana's farming. Just seven more levels until she's a useful hero. Just needs to get the 30 <laughs> attack speed and the 50 damage. She's doing great. We have a relocate, though. She's going to be in a lot of trouble, potentially. Do they have... They don't have a stun, either way. I thought it was no. going to be a Wraith King, but alas, Wraith King it is was, farming ancients. It was just Wisp. What's Wraith King got? So he's got an item, right? He has a Heaven's Halberd. Okay. Oh, Very interesting. annoying for the OD okay. to deal with. Um... Pretty much just yeah. against the OD. Like I'm saying, the Marana is going to get some right click later on, but not too scary just yet. This is a bit of a... His, like, his inventory is filling up really quickly. 
Oh boy, that's a dead OD. Yep. Oh, AA's gonna scout things out. He has the haster and so dodges the impale. And we have a skewer onto Jericho. He's gonna stun the Wraith King as a result of the spike carapace, but alas, just too much damage to speak of. Yeah, you're right. I mean, this. Might this, uh, What's that? Midas Elite plays some very aggressive Dota. <laughs> and they buy a lot oh, of Midas's. Cool, Jesus. Another one on Ancient Apparition now. And DD applied to Wraith King, so this is going to be a free Roche. Yeah. We'll watch these crits. Ooh. Oh, yeah. 2,000 damage. Pretty good. Yeah. Oh! That was a big chunk right there. But yeah, you're right. The Heaven's Halber kind of forces out like a BKB purchase on OD, which kind of wants to get this mm -hmm. game anyway. Uh, but of course, there is the possibility of applying it before the BKB and it kind of negates it completely. Still, still can't do anything, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's tough. OD wants to finish his pike at the moment, it looks like. Uh, I'm really interested to see what Wraith King's next item is because he's already, like I was just about to say, he's already kind of running, running low on inventory space. Mm -hmm. Lots of kind of mid-tier items. I don't know if he just maybe grabs an AC or something as the, the last pickup. Mike, I mean, BKB's pretty damn good this game. He's going to jump in on the OD. Moonlight Shadow. Madara, and Io, is he going to get another kill? Nope, not quite. He's going to run to safety. A blast a little bit too, sh too, uh, too late there. And Madara will live. The Wraith King's not done. It's like, I, I have a Midas running. and I have a Wraith Fire Blast. I will use both. Efficiency. Yeah, but what, what do you think of BKB for Wraith King? Um, yeah, I like it. It means that the song counter initiation doesn't matter against the RP anymore. Like, even if the Magnus gets slept, if the Wraith King is just BKB'd, this will just chop everybody. So I'm, I'm down. I think it's a it's a good way to just kind of hit a timing and end the game while the Wraith King is super strong. Like if he's got level 18 plus BKB, zero chance of ever killing him. Right. Really. Well, another no thing about this build on Wraith King, it's not doesn't scale, I would say, very well into the late game. If it goes super late, this build is not great, right? Uh, yeah. I, he, I mean, I think he has the farm to replace. Oh, him. he's going to jump in onto Necro. A Blast will miss thanks to the four staff. And then we have a counter initiation sleep onto four. They oh, they missed time it. The Impale will miss. And Nyx Assassin will pay the ultimate price. Wraith King jumps in with the Blade Mail. Are they going to go for building Imagine damage is the RP question. Too. Weaver still has the Aegis. Yeah, RP is still available. And Arrow will hit the Wraith King. He's going to take residual damage here. And they're only going to do a little bit of damage, but there's the RP onto two. And Snare comes out, but it's a little bit too late. Necrophos. Oh my Trap. goodness. Good lord. Is that a defusal? Yes, indeed. It takes off the Ghost Route completely. And this Naga Siren will be next on the list. And Lucini is just falling apart at the seams at the moment. Midas Club, like you talked about, super aggressive, not afraid to jump in. I mean, that's been the, that's been what they've been doing all game. HFN leading the charge from minute zero, not even, not even minute one. They got that first blood and just kind of haven't stopped. Some, it's not even that big of a net worth boost, but just Murano feels like a super useless hero at the moment. I mean, look at his right clicking, but <laughs> not really doing anything. Oh, she's in quite 14. a bit of trouble here. Yeah, tier three tower will fall. Don't think they want to go for more. His Necro's going to be back in about 10 seconds. Didn't get a chance to use... I don't think he even used Reaper Scythe that fight, right? They just got RP'd? Mm, no. No, he just, yeah, he just got RP'd. Died. Now these shrines are available to take if they want to. King RD. Showing his net worth Wisp. right now. Wisp has an entire Vlads, so... Yeah, King you don't see that very often. Insane lifesteal now. <laughs> And your initial assessment 30. was correct, by the way. Wraith King is going to be going for the AC. Yeah, I think it's just a let's end let's the game. Kind of close this game out. Yeah. yeah. Hit some buildings, end the game. It's good for the Weaver, good for Roche. Yeah. Doesn't really seem to need the BKB that badly. Mag is just landing sick RPs. So. Oh, they're going to jump right in onto the Necro. Can't even get the Ghost Shroud off. Easy kill for Midas Club. 50 seconds on the deck for the Green Goblin. What is he actually? A green undead? I don't know what he is. Wizard thing. 
Yeah, I don't know. You know what I always thought he looked like? Uh, do you know what an Ayatollah is? No, I don't. It's like the leader of Iran. I'm half uh, Iranian, okay. by the way, so I'm allowed to make these jokes. Right, right. He looks, <laughs> he looks, uh, he looks like an undead Ayatollah. If you guys don't know what that is, just Google it or something. I don't know why I, th I always think of that, but I find it hilarious. I'm gonna take out these shrines pretty easily. AC's actually already yeah. completed. I didn't realize that. Jeez. I like the way that my distillery are closing this out. They picked up a gem on the Magnus so that they can just get the complete map control. Don't have to worry about the Moonlight Shadow. Don't really have to worry about the Vendetta. Take all the shrines. Oh, Maybe Marana. Kill after Roche if they want. Yep, the leap is there. Oh, actually dodges the Wraith Fire Blast nicely with the Manta. But not much expended here for, for Midas Club. Just five more levels and he'll kind of be a, a hero. Oh, the Impale on two. This could be pretty good. Or not. They're going to pop the Shrine. Necro still has the ult available. Does not want to use it on, on this Wraith King. That's for sure. Sandy's Eclipse clips the Io. It's not enough to get the kill. It will be enough to help take out the AA though. And there's the Necro ult onto Magnus. Not enough to get him killed. Beautiful relocate from Io. Oh my god. That is just adding insult to injury here for Lucini. Wraith King pops out of his ult. The right clicks are pretty substantial from Madara, but either way, we're going to have an RP onto two heroes, and this might be the beginning of the end, but the nice save with the song. Can they actually get out, though? They don't have Sandy Eclipse to actually set this up. The skewer onto two heroes. They're going to take out the OD. Next is Necrophos. Pops the Ghost Shroud, attempting to TP out. Wraith Fire Blast is not up for once. Doesn't matter. They're going to right click down the rest of this team. And Lucini. Hmm. Rough stuff. HFN just says, screw it, chops the shrine, grabs the bounty, the creeps are already pushing in mid. Yeah, this is looking pretty, pretty grim for Lucini at this point. Yeah, they're going to get at least two racks, I would think, out of this. They can't really go for the bottom one. Tier two is still up and, up and running. Oh, we do have some, the cooldowns are coming up here. I think they might still fight, though. Arrow. Wow, that Ancient Apparition goes down to half HP from one arrow. <laughs> That's pretty insane. <laughs> They're, they are going to get that kill, but it's going to cost them their Marana. So not not a great trade. Does have buyback, but the melee racks is dead. Damage is get done. Him, Take revenge. Oh, Wraith King. Wraith King is right clicking. He doesn't care that he's losing intelligence. He understands that he's a brain dead hero. He just right clicks and he wins games. GG is called Midas Club Elite. Taking this two to one. Nicely done. All right. Nice comeback. My Indeed. boy Wraith King. <laughs> your, your boy slash man. <laughs> My boy, yeah. <laughs> but, Let's look uh, at the end game stats here. They were up the so, whole game, pretty much. So long, Dota TV. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Bye, Dota. They, 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 didn't, they didn't need to hear you anyway. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. That is a lot of kills for Wraith King. Uh, yep. 19, 2, and 14. Pretty, pretty good. Yeah. I mean, we... Uh, Lucidi had pretty much every... I think every conceivable hero as, like, a mana burn Wraith King counter, but the, the Wraith King Wisp was so strong. The, the Wraith King was such an important pick, right? Because it kind of pulled the the Wisp AA uh, dual supports together. It gave them something to kind of rally behind and gave them a, a tri lane that really worked. I don't even know if there would have been another hero that would have worked the same way that Wraith King did. Maybe if they'd had like maybe a CK would have been similar in this game, but yeah, potentially. If there was a CK available. If there, there, well, there wasn't. That's the thing. Exactly. It was, it was Wraith King or Bust.